Hello and welcome to the Big AR Show. My name is Chris Black, and today I'm going to show you how VizRT can help you enhance any broadcast using augmented reality graphics in the studio. First off, let me tell you a little bit about the tools that we're using here today. Right in front of me, I have this very interesting looking monolith. This is a robotic camera from Electric Friends. And as it starts moving down the studio, it is sitting tracking information over to our Viz Virtual Studio software so that you can see the movement in the studio today. Also, right over here, we have a uh, optical tracking system from NCAM. And this is going to give us total freedom of movement in the studio so that we can move around and take a look at all angles of the augmented reality graphics that we're going to be using today. Now behind me, I have this massive video wall, and this is going to be the backdrop of our presentation today. So instead of using traditional virtual set green screens and blue screens, we're going to use the video wall and add virtual environments to this for our virtual window to create a very different kind of presentation for you today. Now our director is driving the entire presentation using the NetVenture N-Quad system. So if you want to see how a live production is put together, you can stand behind him and check it out. So let's get started. Right behind me, I do have a virtual set already added to our virtual window. Now, this is what we call a Faro scan. So, uh, this is a laser scan of an actual warehouse in Innsbruck, Austria, nearby our R&D center for Viz Virtual Studio. Now, as the camera moves around, you can see it is indeed a virtual set. And the very talented designers over at Art Fabric created this virtual set, as well as the photo reel uh, cranes and robots that we have moving around in the background. But let's take a closer look at some of these objects as AR elements in the studio. So let's bring in one of the robots into our studio here today. There we go. Here's one of these construction robots that the Art Fabric guys created. Now these kind of robots, this one in particular is a 3D printer robot. So he's going to 3D print something. Actually, it looks like a 3D print of me. So we're going to now switch over to the in-cam uh, system to be able to go handheld and take a look at this. Now this is a volumetric photo scan from the guys at Art Fabric. So I was able to go over to Austria, jump into their system, get a 360 degree scan of me, and this is turned into a 3D model that we can then place into any virtual environment. So here we can say we can really get in there very close and see all the folds of the fabric and even the hairs on my head. Now this is going as, that is actually a still image, but they can be fully animated as well. So here we have a few of the animations walking around our studio. There's a, one of the little mini-me's going on over there, and I have one walking around over there. But let's actually bring another one here as an augmented reality graphic in our studio. Chris Orange, where are you? There we go. Now Chris Orange has taken a step into the studio, and let's move the camera over to the, uh, the right a little bit and take a closer look at. Now Chris Orange is uh, running and dancing going on here. Now this is not a keyframe based animation. This isn't a pre-recorded animation. This is happening live right now in the big AR studio coming from our friends at Motion Analysis. We have Tina doing some dance moves here. Now this is doing live motion capture, being applied to a bone and skin model that's being rendered in real time with Viz Engine, our 3D graphics engine. So you can have these kinds kinds of models out here dancing in the studio or doing any other kind of movement that you want as part of your live presentation. Now we're going to cut back to a little bit more live mocap later on in the show. Thank you, Tina. Thank you, Chris Orange. We'll come back to you later. But first, let's take a look at some other ways that we can use augmented reality graphics in the studio. Now, Dorna is the production company for MotoGP. And here you can actually see one of the courses for, for MotoGP. This is the uh, Austin track. And you see it's got these crazy bends and turns here. Now these riders, there's 24 riders on the uh, MotoGP circuit, and they're riding these bikes at over 200 miles per hour through those twists and turns. Now they have to have some really high-tech gear, high-tech motorcycles to be able to do that. And here we have the latest Suzuki uh, motorcycle for the MotoGP right here in the studio. And this is actually an exclusive for NAB. Nobody's seen this thing before. So we're gonna use the Electric Friends robot to move on over so you can take a look at the different angles of this uh, motorcycle. But let's actually go handheld and take a closer look using the NCAM system in the studio. Now, when you bring in 3D objects into the studio space, taking the camera handheld gives you a lot of extra storytelling flexibility. So we can take a look at all the features that make this motorcycle special, such as the aerodynamics of the fairing down to the engine and everything else that makes this a very unique vehicle for doing, rowing on the MotoGP. Let's take a look at what you need to do to be able to use AR for your day-to-day -day live productions. For that, we're gonna go over to our friends at Fox Sports and take a look at the US Open. So here we have another uh, virtual set behind me for the US Open. Let's add in the leaderboards for the US Open. So here we have the leaderboard for the US Open. 
Now, each one of these uh, graphics that you're seeing here is part of a template-driven workflow, meaning your journalists in the newsroom have control over all of the graphics that you're seeing here. Inside of their newsroom system, they can open up the template, change out the image, change out the text, and then build out a playlist of graphics that they're going to use for every show and every story. That takes augmented reality graphics away from just being something that you have for special events to something that truly has daily editorial purpose. And that's one of the things that VizRT uh, proudly does. We've been providing these template-based workflow since the beginning to make sure that your editorial team has the best possible workflow for their live productions. Now, of course, we can also add in all these extra effects for the AR presentation, such as being able to transco from the video wall straight into the video uh, studio floor, or taking advantage of this massive space here to be able to tell larger form stories, such as the challenges that the golfers face on the 10th green of the uh, US Open. So let's go in here and bring in the 10th hole of the US Open. Here it is. Now we're going to switch over to the NCAM system, which is going to allow us to go handheld right back here into the studio so we can start off at the T position. Now this is actually a very long green. So if you want to be able to get it at, into a position to make it under par, you need to at least be able to uh, hit the ball up to uh, 220 yards. Now really to make it under par, you need a little bit more power than that. You need to be able to at least go up to 294 yards, and you still have another 100 yards to go before you can make it into the hole. But you can see here, we can bring in these large models, go handheld, and be able to tell these complex stories in a very engaging and interesting way for the audience at home. Now, VizRT is also helping a lot of our sports customers get ready for the World Cup in Russia. And so we have some of the soccer tools here in the studio here today. So we have some uh, Champions League stuff. Let's actually bring in the Champions League logo here for a moment. There we go. So it's coming up out of the VizRT basement right here into the studio. So we've got this nice Champions League logo glowing here as AR. But let's uh, just kick this out into the video wall. There we go. And trigger the Viz Stadium. So here we have the Viz Stadium where all the fans are eagerly awaiting to see what we're going to do next. This is another virtual set that we had added to the virtual window. Now let's start bringing in some AR to get the fans excited. So here we have one of our player profiles. Now this again is one of those template driven graphics that the journalists have control over. And using Viz Artist, our design tool, you could have total creative freedom over the way these graphics look and feel. So you could have something that looks like this, or you can have a completely different type of graphic and have that applied to an entire football team. So here we have the guys from, Bar uh, from uh, F uh, 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 Germany in Munich. And now uh, earlier last year, Sky Germany went in and scanned all of the players for the German soccer league. And we have the guys here from uh, Munich right in the studio with us. So as we move down the uh, aisle here, you can see they are nice high resolution 3D models of each of the players that can put them right here on the stage with the presenters so that we can talk about everything and also maybe just hide behind them. Hey, how you doing? What's going on? But we can also uh, do a little bit more than that. It's not just enough to have the players here in the studio. We also want to bring in the game footage so we can talk about what's happened during the match. For that, we're going to go over to Viz Libro AR and take a look at some match footage. So here we go. We've got some match footage going on. We've already got the players right here in the studio. We can take a look. Yeah, they've got a lot of open space here. So if he just moves on down the field and his uh, partner comes over here as well, they're going to be able to maybe get in position to keep on moving down the field. So let's see what happens. Let's go back over to the game footage and take a closer look at what actually happens for the rest of the match. So we'll flip back around here. There we go. Now, using Viz Libro, we have a lot of different tools to help you analyze what's happening on the pitch, such as distance measurements, automatic player tracking, ball tracking, and different ways to highlight different players. And then we can get right back in here and bring all of this content into the studio so that your presenters can be talking about everything that's happening during the pitch. So we can take a look at uh, what's happening with option one to try to get into the goal, or we can swing around to get a different angle altogether and take a look at what happens with option two. Let's see what's going to happen with the option two. There we go. Now, here we have the ability to move, if he moves over here, he can get in position to score. But we're going to see what's going to happen in a moment. So I can go in all sides of this AR graphic to help tell the story of what's happened during this game. And this is not just for soccer. This can be for any sport that you can have uh, not analyzed right here in the studio with your presenters and Viz Libro AR. Now, VizRT also does a lot of other sports productions. And last year, we were touring with League of Legends and their eSports uh, tournaments. So let's bring in some League of Legends content into the studio. Here we go. So this is a virtual set from uh, League of Legends. Now you, now you can see that this is a completely different style than any of the other virtual sets that we've seen. That's because you do have that complete creative freedom to tell any story in the studio with augmented reality graphics and virtual set graphics. 
But esports is all about the player of the game and their character in the game. So we want to tie those two worlds together. And we can do that with Viz Engine. So let's bring in Nautilus from uh, League of Legends. There's Nautilus. Look at this beast. I mean, he is a monster. Hey, Nautilus, how you doing over there? Now, Nautilus is not, again, not a pre-recorded animation. This is not a keyframe animation. This is real-time motion capture coming from our friends at Motion Analysis. They're sending data right over to us, to the VizRT booth, so we can have Nautilus stomping around on the stage here, getting really uh, pumped up for his next battle. Now, with eSports, again, it's all about tying the gameplay with the uh, player. And so now we're able to tie those two worlds together so that you have the most engaging and exciting eSports coverage that anybody has ever seen. Now, if you have any questions about how this is done, please come on up. We'll be happy to answer them for you. Otherwise, thank you, everybody. It's been a fantastic show. Enjoy the rest of the day here at NAB.